So in this video, I want to show you how to manage and track your activities and tasks inside of Workflow. So what we've got here is a work section. I'm going to expand that for just a moment. We've got an inbox, some activities, projects, goals, and meetings, very basic stuff. You can adapt this uh, depending on what exactly, what type of activities you want to track. The ideas are going to be basically the same. So let's open up the activities for just one second. We'll zoom in here. As you can see, I've got a note under the activities here with people's tags. And what that allows me to do is assign items to people. And in just a moment, I will show you how to share that so you can actually let people add notes, uh, complete items, uh, tag themselves and other people, and so on. So this is a pretty standard way to do this. Uh, we have three sections. We have to do, doing, and done. So of course, with any item inside of Workflow, you can complete it by using the keyboard shortcut, or you can use the bullet menu right here. Completing it again, uncompletes it or unmarks it. So it's a very easy way to do that. Um, but one alternative way to view this is actually in a, a Kanban style board. So the way that you do that is once you're zoomed into the section that you want to view as a board, right now for me that would be activities, I'll just go to the main menu and on the right hand side we have an option here and if I click on that I can switch between boards or bullets. So I'll swap to that so you can see I've got now uh, my sections as columns and the bullet items in here as cards. So as I mentioned, I've got some tags here of the different team members. And what that allows me to do is then easily just click on them and filter the different cards. So if Lisa had any items here, they would be showing up. So as you can see, none for Tom. We've got just one item here under the to-do column for Mike. Another thing that we can do is also add date tags, either by starting to type a date or by uh, using natural language. So for example, if I say something like today and then hit tab, I can very easily add a date tag. And what that allows me to do is filter items, either in a list or in a card, it doesn't matter uh, what format we're using, date tags are always gonna allow us to filter by the date. So to do that, I'll just click on the uh, search bar icon and then do something like today. And there we go, we can see all the cards that have uh, a date tag of today. Uh, so that's a pretty standard thing to do. You wanna check all the items that you want to do today. Uh, instead of having to search every single time, what we can do is after we've performed the search, like we're doing right now, we can also star that search. So I'll do that here. And now in the left-hand sidebar, we have a new section called starred, and we've got a little icon uh, that shows that this is actually a search. So we're searching for today inside of activities. So this is an easy way uh, to very quickly just, the moment we open up Workflowy, you know, we've got the left sidebar open, we click on today in activities, and we're automatically gonna be uh, dropped into that search. So we're gonna see all the cards that have a date uh, tag of today. Another recommendation is that if you go into the home section, you have some sort of an inbox. Uh, this makes it very easy to capture notes, ideas, um, basically anything that you don't have a specific place for, or maybe you're on your mobile device and you don't want to actually dig through the, your entire workflow document to figure out where you're going to put that piece of information right now. Just create a an inbox or some kind of a, a, a place where you drop all those items and you can star it. And then on your mobile device, you can open up the left-hand sidebar and click on inbox whenever you want to add a note. Maybe you're in a meeting, you're talking to someone in the hallway, or you come up with an idea. Uh, you can just open that up, drop that there. And then from there, you can just drag and drop it to the correct section. So you don't lose any ideas, you don't forget anything, and you don't waste time having to think about where that's going to go. It doesn't matter as long as you capture it here, you can worry about exactly where it needs to go later. The next thing I want to show you how to do inside of Workflowy is how to use mirrors to work on the same piece of information from multiple places. So let's go back home for just a moment and expand the project section. Let's say that I want to work on this big project uh, now. So I'll expand it so you can see that we've got some stuff in here. We've got some to do's basically in, in this order. We've got to brainstorm with the team. Um, we've got to uh, document the plan and so on. And now I could just work on this project from here, uh, but I already have a section called activities. And actually, in just a moment, I'll show you how to share this. So this is the section that I'm going to be sharing with the team. So it doesn't make sense for me to have it just for myself within projects. So what we can do is I'm going to go to this bullet right here, the big one that contains all the information, big marketing project, and I'm going to mirror this item. So I can hit the keyboard shortcut or use the bullet menu to mirror it. Now I can go to the uh, activities board. And I'm going to add this into the doing section here. So I'll create a new card and then I'll paste it. And now we've got the same item. So that might've looked like copy and paste, but there's a very important difference. 
The first one is that instead of a bullet, see if I hover over these, you've got a little bullet here on the right hand side. This one is a little diamond that lets us know it's a mirror bullet. Uh, if I expand it, we've got all the, the items in here, just like the, uh, the one where I copied. But the main key difference is that if I make a change to this bullet here or any of the items that are inside of it, uh, the other copy, the other mirror is also going to be updated. So let's say that I'm now I can work from this board here. And today I, I see that I need to do the brainstorming with the team. So we add some notes. So let's just add some very important notes. And then also I'll just complete this item here. There we go. Now, if I go back to my project section, just collapse this for just a moment, go into the project section, I can see that this also now has a little diamond to show that it is a mirror bullet. If I expand that, all those changes that I've made are now reflected in this item. And if I ever want, you know, I'm wondering where did I paste this, where you know, it's a mirror, where are the other mirrors, I can open up the bullet menu for this item. And I've got a new section here that lets me see where those items are. Now I can see I have one under my uh, project section here, and I also have another one under the activities board under the doing column. So those are where the two mirrors are, and I can also click on them to navigate to them. And finally, what's the use of assigning these items to people if they can't actually see them? So let's go and zoom out for just a moment. Uh, let's jump into the activities board. We'll click on that so we just see that. Okay, and now again, I'm just gonna show you, uh, we've added this project here, so we've got some items here for different team members. So of course, these filters are gonna search uh, now through the entire board, All right? So now we've got an item here for Lisa, whereas we didn't have before, and I think one for Tom. Yeah, there we go, right there for Tom. So great, now I wanna be able to share this with my team so they can cross items off, add notes, add new to-dos, and so on. So how do I do that? Well, once I'm zoomed into the section that I wanna share, in this case, the activities board, I just go into the menu bar on the right-hand side and I click on share. So now that gives us a couple of options. I can either do a secret share link. Uh, this is not quite as safe because of course, anyone with the link will be able to view and possibly edit this board. So I don't want that to happen. Instead, what I can do is invite specific people. So I can go ahead and invite, let's say Tom, I'm just gonna make an email here. And here uh, you can choose the permissions. You can give them full access. That means they can edit and share this with others, or they can just edit it, but not share if there's confidential information. Um, or if, you, if maybe I'm working with a contractor, I'm just sharing this with uh, students. If I'm sharing this with other people on the team that might need to know that information, but I don't want them to be able to actually edit it either, you know, uh, on accident or anything like that. So I can choose the permission that I want and then click on invite. And there we go. And you can see this will change, uh, this will disappear once the person has accepted. They'll receive a, an email, they can click on it and create their account and have access to this. At any point, I can remove them from this uh, item so they don't see it anymore, or I can change their permissions uh, on the fly at any moment. So there we go. Now everyone on the team can check their own uh, tag and see exactly what items they need to do. So for example, Lisa can now click on this, see that she's got an item here and a big marketing project. And Tom can see that he's got a document to plan and so on, all from one giant board. And also uh, I can see all the changes if I want to from the project section as well. So any changes that are made to that particular uh, project, uh, I'll be able to see that happening in, in real time basically. So I hope this video has been useful in giving you some ideas on how to track manager activities with tags, mirrors, and boards, and also how to share items with team members or collaborators so they can also work with you on different items, add notes, uh, tag themselves, assign items, and so on.